Good morning. It's a, it's a little bit foggy this morning. But we're out feeding the turkeys. Looks like somebody gave you watermelon. I didn't do that. Who did that? You guys hungry? Oh boy. Look how big you are. Say hi to the camera. Sun is coming up. Hmm. It's pretty when it's kind of foggy. Chickens know it's treat time, so um, on top of their normal food that they get and get 24 hours a day, um, I give them sunflower seeds. So yeah. They know that it's sunflower seed time. Watch this. Come on. You gonna follow? <laughs> Usually they, I feed them in the run over here. Over here. And so <laughs> they know that not to come this way. But they would follow me. Anyway, let's go get your sunflower seeds. Oh, we got some laying eggs already. We don't want to disturb. I give it a couple scoops. Yes, you're waiting, aren't you? You know what to do. I'm not bothering you. Did you just lay an egg? Good girl. Thank you. Hey, one more. Yum. Ducks like it. Everyone loves it. So this cow. This cow gave birth yesterday, and then this morning when we came out, we noticed that she wasn't feeling real perky, hasn't eaten, and so I'm giving her an IV. This is just a calcium gluconate IV, 23% solution, and it'll help her feel better in case she has a little bit of uh, milk fever. but. All the other cows are very curious. So I'm giving her um, two bottles. This is the second bottle, almost finished. And then we'll, um, she'll get perkier and hopefully wanna eat, start eating something. But yeah. You guys are nosy, aren't you? Anyway, she had a little bull, and, or a big bull actually, and the bull's doing really well. Um, we had to bottle feed it because he can't nurse, and I don't know, she hasn't really wanted to take care of it. Sometimes you have cows that don't want to take care of their babies, so um, yeah, he's in the pen, and we've been taking care of him for her. Alright, this is almost... Almost done. She's up. A little bit shaky yet. She's gonna be just fine. Maybe she'll go get something to eat. She sees her baby. It's a good thing that she acknowledges her baby. And they're talking back. But he has a full belly, so don't worry. That's just them communicating. Oh, she's going to the feed bunk. That is a good sign. 
Very good. Oh, I like that. Kevin will be pleased too. Kevin's milking right now. Sanders actually fed the baby. It's a very cloudy or foggy morning. Very foggy. Oh, you're so tired. My, my. Kittens are always here to greet us. That never fails. Hi everyone, welcome to Acres of Clay. Today, Kevin and I left the farm early. We let the kids do the chores, mostly. I did calf chores and Kevin started milking and then Ethan took over for Kevin. And then we left to pick up all of these. Kevin picked up these tires on an auction. The auction was about, oh, and Kevin's out checking them right now. Um, the auction was about an hour and a half from our house. And, oh. and I'm just telling them about the auction. Anyways, uh, so we picked up 18, 18, yeah, 18 semi tires. All. Um, see them in the back. Yeah, all diff all different um, treads. Some of them are like brand new, and some of them probably shouldn't be used um but we got a really good deal on them ended up the average price for these were ten dollars a piece so can't go wrong even if we bought a few that don't really have much tread left on them we still got them for a good deal because how much is a brand new drive tire uh, they're like three oh four hundred bucks four hundred dollars each and we didn't pay that much for the whole lot um, so we got a good day. We got a good deal. We picked them up Got them loaded and now we're on our way home um, Yeah, this should be exciting Exciting bringing, this, uh, bringing used tires home. Yeah, and um, <laughs> Well, we ha uh, we rarely We'll put a brand new tire on our semis. Well, we always look for good used ones. Yeah um, and we watch sales. Now with uh, being online, we can watch sales that have used tires. Yeah, so the guys are always looking for good used tires. And um, yeah, we did good this time. And they'll fit all of the tubs. Wow, well, they'll, they'll fit or, out everything we got. Oh, they fit everything. So that's good. And um, they're all the same. So we were running low on used tires. Um, I know a couple of years ago we, we bought a couple big lots, and I haven't really seen any good deals since and until this time. Oh, so we have been running a little low, yeah. and that's why they he was pretty adamant about getting these. Um, well, we're down to basically I don't I don't have any used drive tires left, and oh. uh, we need to replace a few. So it gives us an opportunity to get out and um, look at the countryside and yeah, some people are doing hay today. Yeah, some people are doing hay and uh, some people getting ready to do corn. Yeah, we got the chopper all ready to go. Ethan did. Ethan and Sanders, they worked to get the chopper. Our chopper actually is all ready to go for corn. Um, I know here shortly we might try it out. It's good to be home. Traveling went well. Everything went well. I'll get out and show you the tires. First of all, let me show you. I made I made a dishcloth while um, while on the ride. I started and finished it. It doesn't take very long. Um, I just gotta tie these ends in, and yeah, then I have a dishcloth. So I like this one. I like it. Anyways, let's go out see. Um, show you all the tires. Oh, Ethan must be gonna go away. Uh, here's the tires. That's how we stacked them. So you can see that these ones are pretty worn. So Kevin thinks those might go on the silage pile. But look over here. These are the kind of the ones he was going for. 
Um, these dry tires, those are in the front. You can't see them very well. But, yeah. Yeah, those are the tires that we purchased. Alright, I've decided to let the turkeys out. For the most part, I'm done harvesting my tomatoes. I mean, I've got a lot of green ones. I don't think they'll touch the green ones. But, you can tell that they're eager. They're eager to get out. See what they do. You guys gonna come out? Oh boy. Oh my. <laughs> Look at him go. It's been so long. You couldn't run. What in the world? You just needed a quick stretch? <laughs> That's the funniest thing. Go ahead. Eat it up. You yeah, haven't moved their tractor in our, or I haven't moved the pen in a while, so they haven't had any fresh green probably in a week. I've just been feeding them garden scraps and some grower feed. But so exciting, huh? Turkeys. I let you out so you could roam around. Not roost down the greenhouse. Why? Ah. Why? Why you do that? Come on down. You're not roosting up there tonight. So I'm just fixing their the chickens fence here. Some of you have asked about this chicken fence. This is actually an electric fence, um, but I don't have it hooked up to electric. And, um, yeah, if I can get this off. And um, I haven't, I haven't had any issues with predators. So I, I've never actually. Well, hi, hi. What are you doing up there? Yeah. I've never had an issue with predators with my chickens, so um, whether it be hawks or weasels or whatever can get them. That's why I am comfortable um, letting them roam out during the day. Of course, they don't roam out at night. I lock them in at night, so that's not really a big issue. Anyway, I'm going to finish setting this up. I was hoping to go all the way around. I don't know if it's gonna wait and see there we go we've got everybody in here the turkeys and the young chickens I haven't clipped their wings so they can just fly right out everybody else I don't know they don't even try to fly out I guess they just maybe know their boundaries but I've got it set up so they can have a little bit more of the backyard and yeah I can mow kind of where they were because they basically this is where they were, and I think they just got tired of it. They weren't eating the grass down or anything anymore. So I can mow here and get it regrowing, and we can move them around again later. 